Good morning all. <clears throat> I've started it a little early. I'm within the confines of my car right now. And I just saw that the window's starting to fog over, so I gotta turn my car on and get the defrosters going. It's a cold, windy day, so we're gonna start this week. We'll give people a few minutes to get on. We're going to start this week by uh, looking at all that's going on outside uh, from my car. So do not drive your car and use your phone to take videos. <clears throat> I'm only going to do it in our parking lot. Hopefully I don't run into anything. Uh, one thing to notice here, let's see if I can zoom in on that. If you can read that, that is the leaders in polished concrete floors. So we may actually see the beginnings of the polished concrete when we go inside today. So let's see here. I always have trouble getting things zoomed in, zoomed back out. There we go. <clears throat> so if you're joining late, well, I'm in my, if you're just now joining us, I'm in my car. <clears throat> We're going to take a little tour of what's going on outside. I'll also sh show you something that I don't know, Steve Cooper and I think is kind of hilarious. I don't think Father thinks it's very hilarious, but we'll get to that later. <clears throat> so. Give it about another minute or so. You can see from here that the plaza is um, has been poured. As we as we walk around the uh, walk, drive around the building, <clears throat> not only is it cold, the wind is blowing, and uh, with the wind blowing as it is, would not be very uh, pleasant to listen to. <clears throat> but you see, they have we have the plaza poured and. Uh, this week they installed um, some what we call bollards. Gosh, why do I keep, just can't see, there we go, all right. That's these things right here. Uh, they will not look like that because uh, Father and I have already complained about the color and the manufacturer made them two different heights. So we are supposed to have four of those. So if you drive by and see those and say, is that what that's supposed to look like? No, it's not. And it's going to get fixed. So, oh, there goes Mary Jane driving by. She's coming up to take care of some, I think they're doing some decorating for Palm Sunday. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, well, let's get started. Now, I would, I'd like to start again uh, this week, uh, as we did last week with the uh, prayer for the new church. So uh, just pray along with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Spirit of the living God, breath of life and fire of love, be our help and our guide as we seek to know the Father's will. Give us wisdom and right judgment as stewards of your creation. Inspire our hearts and strengthen our will to raise up for your glory a holy place where the splendor of your presence may heal, purify, restore, and give new life to the church gathered in your name. With the faith planted in our hearts and by the hope given to us by Christ our Lord, the living stones of our lives will raise up with your help a place of awesome beauty, where the broken may be healed and find peace, strangers be welcomed with joy, the thirsty refreshed at the well of your grace, and the hungry be fed on the bread of life. Come, Holy Spirit. In the, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. I just realized, sorry for the jiggling, but if I start driving my car, it will uh, start screaming at me that I don't have my seatbelt on, so. Okay, <clears throat> so like I say, last week they were pouring the plaza, has been completed. So sidewalks have been poured around the building. Um, sprinkler system that's uh, a lot of a lot of that has already been installed, and uh, we actually uh, we come around here we're going to see that, that uh, some trees um, sod is supposed to be delivered soon. One place that concrete has not been poured is right there. Uh, so that's that door we've been going in and out of. Really nothing to see around back. Except I noticed Jason was, was a, uh, I noticed Jason was watching earlier uh, you'll get a kick out of this. Apparently that electrical panel back there by father's bedroom door, the alarm went off last night about 9.30 and was still uh, still going this morning. So I think, that, I think that alarm panel that you were asking about, I think that's going to happen. Uh, if the pastor ain't happy, nobody's happy. Um, what I want to show you here is, well, once we get past all this stuff, You'll see up here that we have trees delivered. So we've got these trees are getting ready to be planted. We see them all the way down the down the row there. Uh, actually, one of them is we've got a guy planting trees right here. So when I drove by this morning none of these trees were planted and it looks like we've got oh about three six seven of them planted there's the eighth one i guess and i know that as i recall out here we do have irrigation out here on this island or this uh that strip between our parking lot and the road so um, sod, like I say, sod's getting ready to be laid here soon. And okay, there's plans for a big, uh, big sign for uh, with one of those electronic, uh, electronic message boards. Now, it's inevitable that we're gonna to have to get out 
And so uh, you'll just have to um, a while. So, but I'm gonna go in the door closest to the rectory. So let me get my stuff and get my handy little hard hat on. Okay. So we're getting ready to see one of the humorous parts that Steve and I thought was kind of funny. I think we figure out how father's side door and the sidewalk. I think he could actually make that. I think he could actually jump that. So uh, seriously, we're going to get that taken care of so he has, so he can get out of the rectory without having to step over. Oh, oh, seriously. Uh, I got this door locked. I have to walk around. Okay, sorry for the wind, guys. Let's see if we can get in the front door. Uh, do not use. No utilise. For this door? This oh, door. right here. Oh, okay. I see now. This is actually a little foyer on this side. They're getting ready to install this frame. So you have an inside door and an outside door. Okay. Hey there. How are you? Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Looks good. <sighs> Let's see what they've got in there. Okay. Oh, look. The stalls up in the bathroom. No? So, by the way, if my video cuts in and out, I think we're kind of wandering in and out of. Uh, kind of wandering in and out of the uh, zones for the for our internet. So yeah, this guy up here, he's getting the ceilings all ready for paint up here in the entry area. There's Paul. You're live, Paul. Oh no. We got 37 people looking at you. <laughs> This guy, Paul is the man. He's the building, he's the, he's the head honcho out here. So he knows everything that's going on. So. What's that? Keep my six feet social. <laughs> uh, okay. Looks like we got, boy, this is starting to actually look like a gathering area. Wow. Got the wood on the beams up there. Uh, got a lot of it painted. So we'll come over here. Yeah, installing this, uh, we'll be installing an inside door frame here. So you see they have the outside doors up. Posted. Oh, something I wanted to show you. 
father noticed this. In one of these windows. Ah, here it is. Some of the workers have posted this uh, picture of St. Joseph. And they keep it in this window. So I think that's kind of cool. So. All right. Just for the heck of it, I want to see what's... Okay. Still yet to put stuff in the men's restroom, but it looks like the little walls and stuff are here. Oops, excuse me. Go ahead. down and take a look at uh, see what's happening in the usher's room and that's that that's that door that leads out to the rectory that we tried to go in earlier so uh, yeah looks like they've got down here, they've got ceilings painted, walls painted. Very nice. So we finally have light in the usher's room. Again, not much to see right now because no cabinets have been installed. So, and then over here, again, it's painted, but I think what's left to do here is uh, install cabinets. So, looks like that this is kind of a staging area. Okay. You guys let me know if there's something you want to see or have any questions. Okay. This guy's, go ahead. I'm just looking. I think this guy's painting. He's getting the ceilings painted in here. I got them all prepped and he's getting some painting done. So let's go into the church and we'll see what's going on there. Last week we were talking about this this concrete. They had this material to to um, protect the floors from when stuff gets dropped on the floors and this big heavy equipment runs over like screws and stuff. This keeps it from from uh, damaging the concrete. So they're pretty much done with that kind of stuff. So they're pulling this up and. Uh, we saw the truck outside for the uh, guy that's going to be polishing the floor, so that'll start happening here pretty soon. So I'm standing right here at the 
right below the edge of the choir loft, right here by the baptistry, which will soon be the baptistry, but uh, again, no word as to when that company out of New Hampshire will be able to uh, will be able to get down to get the, the baptistry put together. Looks like they have the confessionals. Oh, they got the windows framed in for the confessionals. So, so just, actually, I just stuck the camera inside the confessional. There will be a window up here, so can't really see much here except that you have a nice that nice crown molding and paint on the walls and on the ceiling that's that niche looks like they've got it all painted going up so place for Our Lady of Guadalupe or Blessed Stanley one for one side, one for the other. Yeah, Darlene, we'll we'll uh, we'll walk up to the choir loft. So. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, look at those wood beams. Aren't those pretty? Nice, very nice. Zoom in and if I can, there we go. Zoom in and see some of the architectural detail up there. kind of wood that is, Penny. I'm trying to zoom out here, so guys be patient with me. There we go. Yeah, if, if we go back out and Paul, our, our uh, building foreman still out there, we'll ask him, he'll, he'll know. Paul knows everything. Uh, you see the the niches have taken shape. They've got the walls completed around the niches. So where you see the wood up there is where marble will be going. And you'll notice some rectangular cutouts on the outside of the niche. Those are, uh, we'll walk up this way. So you see the rectangular box there. That's for, uh, that's for the speakers to get sound to the, uh, to the transept. So you see, you'll see one of those on each side. So that's where, that's how people will, uh, up here in the transept. Those long vertical, those are, uh, those are HVAC vents. Um, there's gonna be some decorative grills that go over those to try to hide the fact that they're actually HVAC vents. These guys up here and
Hey, we got a, we've had a question that you might be able to answer. What kind of wood are the beans up here? It's oak? Oak. All right, Penny, there's your answer. They're oak. Thank you. So coming back to these decorative grills. Uh, the manufacturer for those grills is in Ohio, along with the, uh, the manufacturer of the sound panels. In certain places in the church, there will be sound panels installed to help with the acoustics. They're coming from Ohio as well. And uh, nothing apparently is coming out of Ohio right now. So we're not sure when those are going to be going to be delivered. So a lot of stuff up in the air. Our bap baptismal font, these grills, uh, actually the tile that's going to go on that wall uh, below the window there. Uh, there's a hold up on it from the manufacturer. Again, because of all the, the uh, recent COVID-19 crisis. So, so likely we aren't gonna make that May 16th dedication date, but we'll, um, we'll make that official announcement when it's official. But, it's okay, it's all right, we're gonna be good. Let's see, let's take a stroll back behind. Look at there. I got these all over the place. Hand sanitizers. Take a walk back behind. Well, you can really see the contrast of that blue. It's really a nice contrast. There you can see the blue and the tan and the wood all together. Every church has to have a lovely exit sign. No doubt required by code. Okay, we're walking. That's uh, one of the emergency exit doors in the back. So we'll take a little walk through here. There's our man, Jeff. Hey, how you doing, boss? Man, do they not have the heat on back here? I think they got the AC going back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Everything going okay? Everything's going fantastic. Good. We are almost there. I'm putting in tile. And when you see tile going in, you know you're almost to the end. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, is there a cabinetry going in soon? Or? Yes, that's why I'm trying to beat the cabinet guys with my tile. And oh, okay. I have to work over the cabinets. Okay, <laughs> all right, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so you heard, you heard, it, from, you heard it from the man himself. Jeff is the, he's the inside guy. So trying to beat the, the cabinet guys, so. All right, nice window that the sacristans will have to look out. All right.
Okay, we're going to come out the other side. Yep, just painted walls. Okay, Ooh, it's dusty out here. They're pulling this, uh, pulling this stuff up here. Yeah. This would be what we call the ambo side of the altar. Ambo would be placed on this side. Ooh, it's dusty in here. If I start coughing, it's gonna be because of dust, not because I'm sick. Well, they're not totally done with the heavy machines, but what they are done with is the fact that screws and debris can fall on the floor that the heavy machines can run over. That's what they were, that's what they were protecting the floors from. Heavy machines running over this won't be a, it's not really a, a not really an issue. Yeah, we'll go up. We're gonna go up and see what these guys are up to up there. Right. He's got primer going on right there. Got the undercoat going on. Let's see if we can get up there. Hey guys. I gotta tell you, it looks better than the rendering showed it. Okay, let's see. Here we open up to the, to the mezzanine level known as the choir loft. Where uh, choir risers are being ordered as we speak. There'll be choir risers up here. Be place for the plenty of room for choir risers, organ console, and piano. Plenty of room. For that. Oh, this guy's getting some color on. There we go. Uh, all primed. I need to have him come to my house. So, if I stand from the choir, now, you won't have, you won't have a, a 
rail made out of tuba fours up here. We actually will have we actually will have a, a nice um, I can't remember the material it's some kind of steel some kind of metal a decorative rail that's going to go across the whole um, mezzanine level here which is another holdup. The manufacturer for that is shut down for right now. So another, another, um, another delay. Uh, all wood. Uh, Angela, I presume you're talking about pews. The pews are all wood, no cushions, and the kneelers will um, swing down like most churches do. So. so, reminiscent of a traditional, not any communion rail I ever knelt at, but uh, this one is about five foot high. Oh, yeah, I, I bet you're talking about the rail that's going up here. No, not really. Um, it's a, it's kind of a, I think it's an iron, some sort of iron steel rail that's, uh, it's got some gothic elements in it. downstairs oh they do have the the H so okay just a note you see those you see the uh, see the grills there so again that's that's heating and air conditioning grills for the heating and air conditioning those kind of grills are not going up there so what's going up there is going to be much more Decorative. Now we're looking straight over wire long. Oh, it looks like they moved. This might be interesting. Here is the wood wrap for that piece right there. So these guys are getting ready to install that wood wrap up there. Well, we'll go back downstairs. Of activity going on. So next week, next week, uh, we will uh, likely see some landscaping having been done, uh, some floors being polished, and uh, 
more finishing touches on some things. So I think that's it for this week. Not much else to, to show you. Stay warm out there. Stay safe. And uh, we will check in next Friday at 10 o'clock. All right. God bless.